Greetings, noble viewer, the good Sir Knight here, and today we're doing a fun little review on a very particularly unique uh, firearm, well, airsoft firearm, so I guess, air, arm, whatever you want to call it, 6mm caseless self-propelled <laughs> munitions. So today's review, on the classic Motorzen, Walter PPK. So, Walter PPK, uh, known particularly for two very important things. First and foremost, 007 James Bond. And also the gun that killed Hitler. Mind you, also fired by Hitler, but it did kill Hitler, so... Fun fact I learned while actually looking this all up and stuff. So, Mothers and Walter PPK is honestly one of the uh, cheaper subguns out there. Surprisingly, I guess Mothers and because it's made almost entirely of plastic, like, you know, also is Tokyo Motori, but it's like under a hundred dollars, you can pick these up for about 80 bucks, and that's pretty interesting for a, uh, well, one, a gas gun that's also semi-auto, and uh, yeah, actually some pretty decent quality, so of course, I was curious, I was like, okay, why is it so cheap? I mean, you've got your sights, the sights are nice little simple sights, nothing too crazy, easy to use, hammer fired. You have your safety here, so if you do have the hammer back and you don't want the gun to go bang, you can put the safety on and it'll reset the hammer for you. You can hit it back to reset it. So, double single action trigger, first time, heavy squeeze to get the hammer going, fire, and then a, a nice little tighter, simple squeeze from there on out. You do have your markings. Let me move around the gun here. Hey, you got your Walter marking, all your little 6 millimeter. Now, it is labeled here as a Kurz, with the Kurz being similar from the MP5K for short. However, the K in PPK actually stands for criminal. It was a detective sort of subcompact gun for uh, police officers to do police work on the DL. So, you got your magazine release is pretty high up on the gun, which is probably being a concealment thing. So you press that button there, magazine comes out. Magazines held into the gun with a small little uh, slide here. This actually lines up with the uh, magwell down there, and that's how you get the magazine in and out. It's not the easiest, but it works. So you've got a 22 round magazine here, which is pretty impressive considering the real one was like, what, 8 in 9mm? So, if the little slide, this nub does have a uh, locking point down at the bottom, as well as one up at the top, so you can lock it empty and just fire the gas for fun, or you lock the one down here and you can start loading BBs in. The opening at the top is surprisingly wide, but it hasn't caused any interference with the use of the firearm so far. Of course, you got your Modders and Walter Cal 6mm BB on the bottom there, so neat. So. What's the gun sound like? I mean, it's $80, it's one of the cheaper ones, it's been around since... Was it 2008 or 2012? It's an older model, surprisingly. Is it chambered? Oh yeah, we got, a, we got a round in there, so... What does it sound like to shoot, you might be wondering? Well... Fear not, because I'm going to find out. Well, I have shot it before, but what does it sound like? Well, let's do our heavy squeeze and we'll work our way into the lighter ones. The heavy squeeze... Just like that, nice little plop, and then you got your... We're out of gas! <laughs> Ooh, it's locked in there, yeah, there we go. Righto, so... As you can see, it has a nice little pop report to it. The speed is a little bit on the slower side, but it does work. It sounds pretty cool. And ultimately, it's roughly the same size as a finger gun to begin with, so if you're wondering size-wise. Now, disassembly here. Also pretty easy, fortunately. What you do is the trigger guard actually pushes in and then down. And that pops out there and that lets you basically pull the whole slide off. Or huh? I've done this once before. Yeah. Well, it's doing something. Oh no, you know what? It pops up from the back, doesn't it? Yeah. You pull the slide back and you pop it off from the top. Oh, that just all comes forward. So as you can see, your return sling, your return spring is actually on the barrel. There's your little gas port and stuff in there. So a very, very simplistic design for a relatively simple gun. Slide that back in there. Let's see if we can put it back together. Oh, a piece just popped off. We're off to a great start. Well, that looks important. 
And I have no idea what that goes to. Alright, so we've already broken it. So that's cool. I think that's the release. Is it? I mean, what's the worst that can happen without it, right? Yeah, I'm sure that's important. I just don't know where it goes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that... Yeah, that goes in there. Okay, hold on. I think we figured out. I guess that's not supposed to pop out. <laughs> that's what that comes down to. So, I think we know why it's an $80 gun. That should just slide back into there. Like so. Yeah, there we go. So that actually is part of your ma uh, slide catch. So, uh, yeah, don't lose that. If that pops out, um, no bueno. Slide that back in there. Let's put it back together so I can't break it anymore. It's a talent. Hey! You think it still shoots? <laughs> All right, so as you can see, the mag release all being, or the slide catch all being internal means that your gun does lock back. You just gotta give it that little, what is it, the uh, VZ-61, you just give it an extra little pullback and it'll fix itself. So, crisis averted. <laughs> uh, still, fun, tiny little gun. Just uh, with how small the mag is, make sure you're always keeping it gassed. That little cap there, so yeah, that little cap down there, by the way. You just push the button, slides off, then you get the spring out and everything. Real simple, easy to maintain, you got your little punch pins. And that has a screw on it, so that's uh, confidence-inspiring, but yeah, so... Mudderson. First Mudderson gun I've actually really used. Uh, PPK. Neat! Yeah, that's basically the entire review, so... If you're thinking about picking one up, I mean, for like 80 bucks, absolutely. Older model, works great, and definitely more than I was expecting, considering I've generally stick to Maduri's, so. That's all I got for you guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and um, I will probably be posting a bunch of Bond memes all over Twitter and Instagram in the near future, so. Cheers everyone, stay chivalrous, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.